guys and welcome back to Hike Oregon and thank you so much for watching this PCT recap series. If you haven't watched my PCT prep series, I will link that series right here. And this will be exactly like my PCT prep series. It will be in the same order as I did those videos, except now that I'm off trail, I will be talking about what I did and didn't like about my gear items, and also maybe what gear items I would not bring in the future. So in today's video, I wanted to start off with my big three which are my backpack, my sleep system, and my tent. So we'll start off with the backpack. This will be super quick because I have done a review on this backpack before. I will link that here as well. This is the Osprey Aura AG65, and I have taken the brain off the pack. Love the backpack relief there were no issues with it the only thing I wish is that it was a little bit lighter weight other than that it works perfectly for me I love the organization aspect of it it has a ton of outside pockets and a ton of space the reason I was able to take the brain off is because I still have so much space even without the brain that I don't need those 10 extra liters of the brain so I just was able to take that off and save just a little bit of weight next let's get into my my tent so my tent is the big Agnes Fly Creek UL2 so it is a two-person tent I did decide to get a two-person tent just in case my husband wants to come with me for a overnighter or anything like that and I do really like the two-person tent for when I go by myself I just have so much more space and I can really spread out I have done a full review on this tent showing how I set it up and everything like that I'll link that video here if you want to watch it. Love this tent. Absolutely love it. It is super easy and quick to set up. I have the stakes and the poles separate from the tent because I do stuff the tent the rain fly and the ground sheet into this that leaves no room for the stakes and uh, poles. Stuffing your tent is better for the tent because if you roll or fold the tent you're likely to get creases and that is not really that great for the tent. Next let's get into the sleeping bag. My sleeping bag is the Z-Pack 5 degree down bag. I don't have a full review on this. I really enjoyed this bag. It kept me super warm. Actually, Actually, most of the times I was too warm which is totally fine because I'd rather have a bag that is too warm and then I can just sort of unzip it fully and regulate temperature that way than be way too cold so this bag is awesome the only complaint I have with it is that the zipper is like right here and then the drawstring if you want it because it doesn't have a hood so if you want it like tight against your neck drawstring is like actually behind you which is a little bit awkward when you're sleeping I feel like they could have put the drawstring cord like right by the zipper or something like that but that's super minor and not a reason why I wouldn't get the sleeping bag it's super awesome highly recommend and it's super lightweight and compressible for my sleeping mat I have the Therma Rest Z light. I prefer this over a blow up mat because I don't have to blow it up and I also find it a little bit more comfortable in the sense that I don't like slide off of it. It's also wider than a lot of blow up mats. I just sleep much better on this. I don't know if you saw my review of my gear when I came back from my trip two years ago on the PCT. I actually thought that I would go away from a mat like this because I ended up getting like bruising like on my hips and stuff but this time I didn't get that probably because I weigh a little bit more than I did last time so I have a little more cushion. I found it really comfortable and I think it works well. It also works nicely for like a sit pad especially because it's attached to the outside of my backpack so if I wanted to eat lunch and just unattach this from my pack and I can just sit on it really easily and then I don't have to take anything else like a camp chair or another little you know sit pad type thing. In my PCT 
prep video talking about my sleep system, you may have noticed that I did show a pillow. I actually ended up returning that pillow. I slept on it one night and could not deal with it. It was super uncomfortable, it kept um, sliding out from under me and it just really didn't work well. So I got rid of that and instead of getting a different pillow, because I really couldn't find anything that would work well, I just decided to fold up my jacket and use my buff as a pillow. So basically I just folded it up like this. I usually turned it inside out because I don't want to like drool on my jacket. And then I would just stuff it into my buff like this. And this actually ended up working like really really well as a pillow it was super comfortable another good reason to turn it inside out is because of the zippers on the pockets you don't end up sleeping on a zipper so this was super comfortable it worked really well i never actually used the buff for like wearing it was just far too hot and i didn't want anything extra like on my head it was there for a pillowcase and it was obviously never cold enough to need the jacket at night so it was a perfect pillow now if i were in a situation where i would need the jacket at night let's say hiking somewhere much cooler i would have to get a different pillow but for the pct and backpacking in the summer here in oregon going this route is lightweight and works really well so that is it for my big three if you have any questions about any of my gear feel free to comment below stay tuned for all of my other pct recap videos coming up on the channel and make sure to follow me over on instagram where you'll see all of my pictures from my recent backpacking adventures. If you're interested in hiking or backpacking here in Oregon, make sure to check out my website, hikeoregon.net, where you will find tons and tons and tons of trails and awesome trips that you can do here in this awesome state. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next adventure.